Hi, I'm Carl Rides for GifGaff, and this is the Microsoft Lumia 950 smartphone review. The phone comes with a 5.2 inch Quad HD AMOLED display with 564 pixels per inch and Gorilla Glass 3, a volume rocker, power and weight button, and a dedicated camera button. Micro USB Type C connector on the bottom and the headphone jack on the top. With a 5 megapixel camera on the front and a 20 megapixel camera on the rear with free LED natural flash. And the device weighs just 150 grams. Under the back cover is a removable battery with built in wireless charging, nano SIM card slot, and a micro SD card slot which supports up to 200 gigabytes. Like all Windows 10 devices, the Lumia 950 uses your Microsoft account for its login system, but you can also add a PIN to the device and use the new Windows Hello security system. Once you have added a PIN to the device, you can activate the Iris recognition system. It's easy to set up and all you have to do is look at your phone if it, and it unlocks. You can also take more shots to improve the recognition. You can then simply look at the device to unlock your phone. The 3000 mAh removable battery got me through a full day's use with power to spare. And of course, if you're going to be away from power for a long time, you can always take some spare batteries with you. The built-in wireless charging system is a nice addition to simply drop and charge. Here are some pictures and videos taken with the Lumia 950. The pictures are also live pictures which record a short video a few seconds before and after the shot. The Lumia 950 runs the latest version of Microsoft Windows 10, with folders and more live tiles, and uses the new HTML5 Microsoft Edge browser. Apps, games, music, films and TV shows are also available to download from the Windows Store, which you can use your Microsoft password, a PIN, or Windows Hello to authorise payments. On your screen now are the full specs and features of the Microsoft Lumia 950. <laughs> I am very intrigued and excited by the Windows Hello Iris Scanner, a new take on biometric security, and it works very well, even if you wear glasses like me. I would, however, like the option of a fingerprint reader on the device. The headphone jack being at the top of the device can sometimes be annoying, with the cable hanging over the screen sometimes, which is why a lot of smartphone manufacturers have moved their headphone jacks to the bottom of the device. The rear camera protrudes from the back of the device and could get scratched if you're not careful with it, but this is the same as many other high-end smartphones. The device is all polycarbonate, which although feels great in the hand, even with its blocky design, I, it would be nice to see it made out of metal. However, this would add to the weight and the cost of the device. The Windows Store has all the apps I need and has improved since I tested the Lumia 1020 a couple of years ago. However, it's still lagging behind Android and iOS, as you can see with the numbers on screen. The Windows Store isn't going to have everything, and the big apps will likely always start on iOS or Android first, before coming to Windows Store, if they ever do at all. If you're looking for a top-end Windows 10 smartphone, you can't go wrong with a Microsoft Lumia 950. You can pick it up today from gifgaff.com. I'd give it 9 out of 10. I've been Carl Rides for GifGaff, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>